Ooh, it's cold outside, but good morning, people. Uh, finally, another nature adventure time, and I have a feeling that this is going to be the best one yet. Let's go! work it is nice to have new stuff built but it always sucks when you need to drive through a construction anyhow let me tell you where we are going I mean let me tell you what is the plan I just need to keep my eye on the road if you are a long time dark den enjoyer then you know that we used to have these cool videos that are called nature adventures and I was really really enjoying recording them but it was always about finding some animals outside and since there is not a lot of different types of animals in Croatia, interesting types of animals that I can easily find, I just quickly ran out of that content and sorry for it, the sun hitting the camera from my back, behind my back. So therefore I didn't do a nature adventure video in a quite a while now. I did attempt to record one two years ago, but it was failed because I didn't find what I was looking for. And what I was looking for were black widows specifically Mediterranean black widow. Even though I recently acquired some black widows, those are not the native to Croatia black widows, the Mediterranean black widow. I don't really know the, the scientific name, so I'll just write it down. But that is the main goal of this video. Today we need to find those black widows and we will drive for hours and then trek like an hour just to get them. We will actually need to climb a um, small mountain, so that will be interesting. <laughs> behind me behind the trees that is where we need to go and the terrain up there is really rough so that's why I got myself a good climbing boots but before all of that a little snack and okay I'm ready let's lock the car Let's find where the trail begins. I'm not exactly sure. This Lada is even rougher shaped than mine is. Just look at it. So rusty. <laughs> Just look how bare it is over there. Only rocks and a couple of bushes. So I think widows should be in those bushes. And is this the path that we need to follow? I don't think so. Oh. This arrow is what marks the trail, so we just need to follow that. Arrows and circles. <laughs> and here we have more arrows. You see one arrow over there and one arrow over there. So yeah, this is this is the path that we need to take and already it is getting interesting to say the least. The trail is prog progressively getting more and more interesting. It is getting cooler and cooler and I should actually tell you where exactly we are because we are currently on one of the biggest Croatian island that is called like this. This is how it's spelled and it is always interesting to see, to hear how foreigners pronounce it. So I'm really curious. Give yourself a few seconds and try to pronounce it. It is pronounced Krk. Just simply Krk. And for a long time it was considered to be Croatia's biggest island. But then later on with more precise measuring it is determined that that is actually an island Tres. So Krk is now one of the biggest. And oh, I'm already losing my breath. Um, it's not, it doesn't seem that steep but trust me it is. So as I said we are going to climb over there or maybe over there I'm not really sure but we'll just follow this path and these markings should lead us to our destination and after we summit that first mountain or hill I'm really not sure how it's classified then we need to head on to second one and somewhere in between those two hills we should find a lot of black widows wolf spiders the Licosa tarantula the original tarantula and also the Argiope lobota, that is how it's pronounced. But do I check this out? Look at this. 
for Jungalarium 2.0, huh? Or for the current Jungalarium, if only I could bring it with me. It is kind of too big and the road is too far away. Anyhow, the climb continues. Hmm, I'm real not sure why there are gates over here, but hopefully it is fine to cross. I just need to open them and you see the marking is over there, so we need to continue this way. Maybe someone is raising sheep or something in the area, so that's why we will see. And currently I have a nice shade because of this small forest, although I know that that won't be the case for long. So I need to enjoy while it lasts. But it is getting steeper and steeper as you can see. So I sat down to tie my shoelaces and this bug is just keep landing on me. I tried to squish it a couple of times but it just survives and you see it just flew away and I was like properly crushing it. And that was my third attempt to squish it. I think that is the, the type of fly that uh, drinks blood, the horse fly or something like that. Let's continue. And as I said, it was good while it lasted. My shade is gone, so bye bye my forest. You were a great ally. And immediately I spotted one <laughs> grasshopper with red wings. You see, it, the grasshopper is dull looking, but his wings are like, oh, red. So good. But look at this view that is slowly starting to appear. Huh? And it will get even better as we are getting higher and higher. Look at this. That over there, a little bit that you can see, that is Adriatic Sea. I'm still not sure, but I'm considering to, after the nature adventure is done, to go and jump in the water. <laughs> Although I'm not sure what is the temperature. It looks like that first animal that will appear in this nature adventure is actually a beetle. This cool looking beetle, is this the one that collects poop and rolls it behind it? <laughs> it is in a weird position. I think that is pretending to be dead or something. Okay, little buddy, I don't want to bother you anymore. And I just love these cool looking rocks. Imagine this in a junglearium. <laughs> that would be insane. The future frogs and reptiles would love it. The only problem is it weighs a few tons probably. <laughs> but as you see, once again I was in the shade and that shade is now once again a story of a past. So, we need to get there and it looks like we did like a half of elevation, but I think that we did more than half of the distance, which means that climbing over there will be rough. there and entrance to a cave huh. it's not that hard to reach so let's just check it out right the path down there is a bit steep but I'm a skateboarder I'm a skater so I consider myself to be a bit more agile than average person <laughs> oh and I definitely need two hands for this so camera goes click I will keep it rolling just in case I fall so everything is documented and here we are no definitely not an entrance to a cave oh but i i messed up a web some poor spider and i think that i see him you see right here he is a bit camouflaged but oh where did he go i guess he fell down but he probably got safety line so yeah he will be back now we need to go back up and this sun this sun is killing me the rocks here are Super intriguing. Nature. <laughs> Nature is so fascinating and I almost rolled down with all those rocks. This is not safe environment. If you are wondering why I changed to regular sneakers, I forgot that those climbing shoes are a bit too small for me, so I got worried that it will just be too tight, so I decided to risk it. But I'm a skater after all, as I said, so it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> what? 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 Look at this. There's like a small stream. What? We are like in the middle of the island, high up, and there is a stream running. I didn't expect it. Especially not now, when the rain season didn't even start from what I know. This is so cool. Water. A cold water. Oh man. I would like to drink it, but I'm not sure if it is a drink. It should be drinkable water, but 
Ah, no, no, no. But I'm so happy I spotted this. So it is running all the way down. Probably close to somewhere when I went down to check out if there's a cave. The stream is probably running over there. This is just getting better and better. All that we did now are black widows and wolf spiders. And check out that rock over there. Ooh, I hope that I will reach it so I can climb it. It seems doable from here. And the trail is now actually crossing that stream. Look at this. So cool, so cool. While well, these should be a uh, goat droppings. So some goats should be around. I would love to meet some goats. They are probably coming here to drink, of course. The path is leading over there, while the cool rock is over there. So now we are going to pass on it, but this is the same way that we need to take to get back to the car. So if there will be still time, if I manage to find all the spiders that I plan, then we are going to do a bit of detour to reach that rock over there and hopefully climb all the way on top. That would be a cool shot. As I'm getting closer to my destination, I will now start to inspect all of the rocks and bushes that I come across. Maybe I should even head over there and check out if I can find something. Yeah, maybe we could already start finding something. And I should already switch to a different type of lens because this web is pretty messy and it might just be the thing. So there we go, because this lens enables us to zoom and I'm not really sure if you will be able to see the actual web but the web is right here and unfortunately I spotted the spider it is not what we are looking for but okay spiders are starting to appear that's a good thing this web looks really interesting you see the pattern I have no idea whose web this is but I don't see the spider and this bush is extremely extremely spiky you cannot really touch it without getting impaled so Oh, there was actually a spider on the web, you see? No, it is some super flat spider. <laughs> Interesting, never seen that. I should also start turning the rocks while I'm here because apparently we can also find some centipedes here. So the trail goes over there and goes somewhere over there and then winds behind and goes over there. And we need to get over there, so I just decided to go like straight through and just look for spiders as I go. But the environment, look at the environment. Whoa, 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 looking sweet. I feel like I just landed on the moon. This surface is so intriguing, so alien looking. Just rocks, 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 and some bushes and some grass, but mostly rocks. And I was wondering what the hell these are. You can actually see them on Google Earth images, but it looks like just a field of grass surrounded by rocks which screams to me potential wolf spiders. Hmm, let's check it out. <laughs> because Lycosa tarantula makes holes in dirt and this is like the perfect spot to make a hole. Whoa, ants, whole lot of ants and it looks like two colonies because these are yellow ants while these are some black or darkish ants and actually mix their colonies up. Sorry guys, sorry, it was not intended. I'm searching for centipedes. And what do we have here? This is I think the same the same beetle that we already found and it dug. Did you dug this or what? Okay, okay. Here is some pill bug or isopod. I'm not sure. Let's wait for it to unball, so to say. Yeah, yeah, come out little buddy. It seems like it is an isopod, right? One pretty, pretty looking isopod. Whoa, I'm so tempted to collect it, but nah, I will just leave it be. This is the first one that I found and I'm not sure if they are rare or something. Enjoy, little buddy. This spider just attempted to catch something, but it flew away. Ah, oh, that is unfortunate. It was all over by the time I whip out my camera. Look at these. These two queens are so close to each other and yet they are attempting to start a colony. <laughs> they are not even aware that they are so close. Once their brood starts to spawn, it will be a surprise. Under almost every rock there is something, but not what we are looking for. Everything is full of ants, different ant species. Ants Canada will love it here. But I need spiders or centipede would also do, you see, ants, ants, ants. And I guarantee you that if I was searching for ants, I wouldn't be able to find a single one. Oh, some millipedes. I mean one single millipede. Is it? Yeah, that's one. You see, 
although it is a fat one. Another isopod. I think this is the species that I got in the junglearium. Ooh, one huge grasshopper. It is really big. Or is it considered a locust now? I'm not sure. Boink, boink. Oh, you see? Pretty big. Wait, wait. I think... I think we have it, guys. I think we finally have it. This looks like a wolf spider nest. And now I realized one mistake. I didn't bring anything to dig. And I have no idea how deep the hole is. So, let's check if this really is a Licosa Tarantula hole. Ooh, I see something down there. You probably can't see it, but I think I see the spider. Please, please, please come out. Oh my... Oh my, 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 my. I need a light. I need light so you can see. The spider got something in its mouth. It went back inside. It went back inside. Okay, regardless, I'm super happy because we finally found something that we came to look for. Now I just need to get it out. Come here. Yeah, come, come, come. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. Come on, girl. If only you could see it. No, again. She doesn't want to come fully out. Ooh, 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 ooh. She was actually, but she beat it, and she let go her prey. I guess she is now defending from the intruder. Man, I will just need to dig her out. I remember that I got a small knife here, so I will try to use that. See this? Oh, no, no, never mind. I actually brought this, and for that I took a spoon. So I can use a spoon. I just need to eat this first. So I guess I'm having a lunch break, and can be even better than in front of wolf spider nest, and also a ton of goat droppings. Yet I cannot find any goats. I don't see any goats. They are hiding from me. Mexican tuna salad, if you are wondering. Mmm. It is actually really good. <coughs> or I'm super hungry. It is really tasty, but the only problem is it is spicy. And I don't have a lot of water, so... <sighs> Hopefully I will manage to get this girl out. And also soon we will find some black widows. And then we can start heading back. That would be a great and successful nature adventure. Mmm, that was good. And also, I will eat this peach. I think it's called peach. Mmm, I am chilling now. Oh no, I thought that I was recording, but I wasn't. As you can see, I already started to dig. And I was complaining how it is... The dirt is super hard and... And I'm wondering how the spider managed to make a hole like this. Because the hole is quite wide and... It is not deep, but it goes like in some direction. I'm not really certain in which direction it goes. I'm not sure where the, the hole goes now. It should go somewhere, that's for certain, but I don't know where. So I'm going to dig. Ah, I poked myself on this. That's what I get for digging out the wolf spider, I guess. It appears that I buried the hole, but the spider never came out. Ah, man, I should have brought the proper digging tool. It's like the hole disappeared. Incredible. Mm-hmm. The hole goes here. Okay, I figured it out. So the spider is somewhere under here. Man, the hole is still going. Like somewhere in this direction now. This is so deep, there is just no way that we dig out this spider. Ah, I'm now mad. And not because we didn't get the spider, but because we destroyed, we partially destroyed its height for nothing. That sucks. Uh, I will continue my journey now. Hopefully the spider will be able to rebuild. I mean, her tunnel still goes down, so she's safe. But yeah, she will need to do some more digging. And if we manage to find another one, uh, we won't be digging it out, but we'll try to fish it out. And if that doesn't work, then ah, whatever. That will be the destiny. Check it out. These are the ghost droppings that I'm talking about. I almost put my bag on them. <laughs> At least we know that we are on the right track now and that we can actually find them. So I will keep looking. Okay, okay. One intriguing looking web with ton of XX. But I don't see the spider. So let's take a closer look. Oh, this web is much stronger than web from the previous spiders. There's a chance that this is the real deal. Although, where's the spider? 
the web is super strong and if you look at the the prey that this spider was eating i'm not sure if you can see it but it managed to catch a big beetle you see this shiny beetle it got that and also down there we have some isopods but no spider so are we maybe too late did oh no 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 never mind oh that's the real deal i see the spider i see the black widow the mediterranean black widow oh yes 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 oh yes. finally after such a long time i just need to record it well now come here come here she is relatively small she is relatively small you see that's it this is the mediterranean black widow you can see it is black like other widows but it got red dots on the abdomen oh finally let me grab a catch cup and let's collect her i believe that they are seasonal so now since she laid the eggs, eggs i think that she will die quickly so that means I will have her for a short period of time. Can you like go inside? Oh, I need two hands. Finally a successful nature adventure. I don't even know on how many nature adventures I went trying to find these spiders. And now it finally happened. Although she definitely looks a bit beat up. I think that she's missing some legs. Yeah, she's missing like two legs on this side. Or maybe one leg, I'm not certain. So she is basically on her last legs. <laughs> Top comedy. <laughs> and also now when I'm at it, I'm gonna take one or two XX. Here are like four, I think, so it shouldn't be a problem, yeah. I cannot even express how happy I am right now. This is like a black widows are here in Croatia, like a myth, you know, everybody is afraid of them, everyone thinks that they are deadly. And ever since I was a kid, look at XX. Ever since I was a kid, I've been taught to fear black widows. I'll just take one exec. While in the same time, I never even seen a single one. So I was like, I want to, even before this channel, I want to find them, to see them by myself. And even before this channel, before the dark den, I always wondered where are all those black widows, those deadly black widows. And now, here it is. Finally, a Mediterranean black widow acquired. Uh, now, since I know how they look, how the web looks and everything, I'm going to search a bit more. And also, I want to find another wolf spider to see if we can fish it out. So this nature adventure is still not over, although the main objective is done. And I still need to reach and climb that cool rock, right? That is also super important. I think we got another one. And now, since I actually know what to look for, this changes everything. Can you see the XX inside? Yeah, that should be also Black Widow's XX. But I was actually looking wrong. I was always looking in the bushes. While well, you see, they are actually living in rocks. The other one that we found, it was in the rock. And now this one is also in the rock. So that was maybe my main problem. I was looking wrong. Although I tried poking inside and I don't see a spider. So maybe she already died. It is end of their season. So I'm not really surprised as I said. I just wanted to say how I'm slowly moving back. And I've been getting less and less of these patches of dirt area in between all the rocks. Because you see, all of this around is super rocky. While wolf spiders can potentially be in areas like this that got dirt. And I was just about to say that I'm getting less and less. And it looks like I won't be able to find one. While, oh, I'm not sure if this was visible. But the spider was actually out. So maybe this one is super hungry and we will be able to get it out. Only one way to find out, right? And as I sat down to get all my gear ready, the spider once again came out. But yeah, I think that camera is not picking it up. I can see her with my eyes, but maybe if I increase the brightness... Aha, uh -huh, now you see it. Everything else is super bright, but the spider is right there. So that is what we need. This time I will be ready with all the with everything that I need to capture it. So catch cup is right here. And I have this to close the burrow. So now I just need to lure it out. <laughs> it is a lot smarter than I thought. I'm super quiet not to scare it. Ugh. 
Will I be able to do this? I'm not... I'm not sure anymore. At least I will try to record it better, so you can see how it is coming out. Now you can see inside of its hole. You see how? It is interested, but I can't really convince it to fully come out. Should have brought some roaches and tweezers. It would definitely make this a bit easier. Well, oh, it is biting, but yeah, there is just no way to get it like this. You just need to dig it out. In order to get it, you need to dig it out. But to dig it out, you need like a proper tools that make like a big hole around. That is the only way to get it. <laughs> I was looking around. And I actually found another hole, although I'm not sure if this is a Lycosa tarantula hole. You can actually see all the dirt that it was dug. So that would tell me that this is something else. I can actually see something inside. Wait a minute. Duh. Look who it is. Once again it is that bug. I mean, how it is able to dig so good? This tiny bug is digging better than me with this spoon. I'm wondering if I put it in front of wolf spider's hole, what would happen? Would spider be even able to grab it because it is such a hard, hard bug? Although we observed similar bugs in Black Widow's web, so I don't know. Where is the wolf spider inside? Yeah, it's so easy to scare it off because unlike tarantulas, they can see. Okay, never mind. I got a grasshopper, so maybe that will lure the the spider. Oh no, I need to let go. Oh no, the grasshopper escaped. Okay, I got it again. Okay, maybe we will get a takedown at least. Grab the grasshopper, Mrs. Spider. Oh, you bug are in the way. Oh, yeah. no, she didn't grab it. Man, this wolf spider, seriously, after all I did for you. Okay, let's just pack our bags and head back and along the way I will still be looking but it is no longer a priority. We got everything that we came for, even though we didn't get Lycosa Tarantula, we at least found it. So I'm satisfied and hope that you are also. Now main priority is let's try to climb that huge rock. Sheeps. It was sheeps all along, not goats. Munching on some, some grass or something. Let's see if they are friendly. Hey Ovta! Oh, this is Ovta. Look. Hello, sheep, sheep. Ah, they don't really care. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry for startling you. I actually need to go down. Maybe I can go down here. Let me see. Can I go down here? Huh? Is that the cool rock? It looks too small, but yeah, I think that I can go right here and then it should get progressively easier but i won't use camera man i would wish i was on official trail because it would be much easier this will be a slow descent i think because if i rush it i'm risking it and i don't really want to risk tumbling down here that wouldn't be really cool <laughs> oh look more sheep I'm thinking more and more that this is the cool rock because that over there that is the the path I was on when I was going up of course and this should be the cool rock so this was actually a really good idea because I saved bunch of time and I am right in front of where I want to be and this would be a challenge to climb right <laughs> although I'm not a rock climber so in some other life maybe yep this is it so let's climb it
Diste ovce! Ships! They have no idea where I am. Ships! Ovca means sheep on Croatia, so... <laughs> this is such a nice view. And I can tell you how amazing this view is. But looking through your screen, you can never really get the feel of what it actually is. I mean, what I want to say is, seeing this in person is 50 times better than any video. Video cannot just show you how good this is to see it with your, with your own eyes. I think that I'll just sit here for like 10 more minutes and contemplate. Whatever. Just chill. Because this is a proper chill spot. Mm -hmm. Only one way to finish this adventure and that is at the beach. Oh no. And look at this. People are actually wearing long sleeves. So this will be interesting. So wish me luck. <laughs> Honestly, it is not that bad. And this was a nice nature adventure, so... Up until next time!